Hey there guys, my name's Jacob Javutt, and last year I started my very own business in hopes of one day reaching financial freedom. I have learned a ton since I started, and I wanted to create this channel as a way to share with you guys what I've learned, but also follow me along my journey. On the road to financial freedom. Just came back from Boston last night, had an amazing trip, um, but I've been a little bit stressed out because <clears throat> I've been trying not, I've been putting off the stress because I have a lot of jobs coming up. I'm gonna go remove a brush pile right now and then I have to start a hedge. And the other thing is I gotta do the garbage tomorrow. So normally I like to just pile up as much brush as I can um, and drop it off all at once to save some money. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Maybe I can throw the garbage on top of the brush, even though that would be really annoying and depending on how much brush there is, might not be possible. That, and then next week I start a landscaping job. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot more mowing. So it looks like I'm gonna have two, maybe even three days of mowing. Um, so I'm trying to balance all of that. And it's Tuesday, um, Monday I was still in Boston. So um, yeah, a lot to juggle. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go check, a, check this brush off the list and get that done. Here is the brush pile. Decently sized, but whoever cut it down stacked it the right way, so that's good. But I don't think this should take too long. I didn't park on the grass because I don't know if they have septic or I don't know. I don't know what's in the lawn, so it's not that far to drag it. But let's do it. <clears throat> All right, it's 9:40. Um, I have the brush pile picked up. Wow. Good thing I got here when I did. Looks like that rake was about to fall out. It was, the job was right around the corner. I should really make sure it's more secure than that, but we got lucky. Uh, anyways, the job took me an hour and 40 minutes. I talked to the homeowner for about 10, so it was about an hour and a half. And now plus travel time all the way to the dump. Uh, that took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. We should still be all right. Um, but I'm gonna drop off some of the rakes, the chainsaw here, the stuff that I don't need. Uh, make sure this is more secure and then um, drive it out to the dump. I also have to drop off this trimmer here and, um, and uh, the place that I drop it off to is on the way. So I might do that if I can find a place to put it, but I don't know. It's uh, that's quite a bit of stuff back there. So we'll see. We just unloaded everything at the dump here. Um, nice and clean bed for the dump run tomorrow uh, and I dropped off the trimmer so I'm waiting to hear um, when that'll be fixed but now um, what I'm gonna do is go get the scaffolding hedge trimming equipment head over to the next job see how much I can get done um, before my estimates tonight my estimates start I think my first one's at 430 well one's at 5 but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have another one at 4.30, I gotta call the guy. Um, and that'll go till probably 7.30. This will be about three hours in total for this job, uh, $200, so not bad. But I'm gonna get back to it. All right, I just got to the job site. Um, it's currently 11.30, I figured I'd start around 12. Um, I'm just getting all the scaffolding unloaded. Uh, this is the hedge I'll be trimming both sides and then this which goes back a little ways I'm sure you'll see it some more um, pretty tall they actually don't want too too much taken off because if you can see these buildings <clears throat> um, this hedge goes too low they can see right into their uh, backyard but they do want it leveled off um, so I'm just gonna pick the lowest point and level it off without going too low it's a uh, four o'clock um, I have my first estimate at five and I got a good amount done. I got to trim that top part and the other top on the uh, other side of this. And then it's touch up, cleaning up these brush piles and you know, taking down the scaffolding equipment and I'm all done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning up. I'm gonna get a bite to eat before I have all my estimates. And tomorrow I have the dump run and then finish up the edge. Alrighty, so it's the next day, and look at that sky. 
Man, that is beautiful, huh? Well, anyways, um, I did all my estimates last night. There's a there's a contract that I'm really excited about that I might get for mowing for the rest of this year and next year. Um, it probably it would justify having to buy another mower. Um, we'll see if I get it. Um, and then other than that, I had a painting estimate, um, a landscaping estimate, and then another mowing estimate. But other than that, today I have to do the garbage run this morning. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, there's one guy that I pick up for every like other month or couple months he just texts me and then i go and pick up from him and then after that it's finishing up the hedge and i'll probably work on some estimates after that and i need to edit some videos this is actually it's been a while since i shot my first video and i haven't released that yet so um hopefully i'll have some time to edit that and then maybe even upload it so we'll see but it's time to work this side is trimmed up uh, I just got to trim the other side, and right now I'm, well, I got to haul all the uh, piles out of here. There's four piles, um, and then I got to bring all the scaffolding to the other side. I got to drive around, finish the top, clean all that up, and then this job's a wrap. This went pretty well. Uh, I think I'll be trimming it again next year, and it should be looking a lot better next time we trim it, but... Yep, just a little bit more to do. So the back side of the hedge is all, all done. Um, everything's cleaned up, all the scaffolding is in the truck along with the equipment. Now I'm going to uh, drop it off at the garage and uh, get some lunch. And then the rest of the day, I suppose, I got a couple estimates, but I can finally edit some of those videos. So. I'll also go over numbers for this job. Um, this is a pretty good one. I'm starting to get um, to be about where I want to be. So that's good. As always, it is time to break down the numbers on this job. And <clears throat> like my previous video, I am all for hedge trimming. I think it is an amazing way not only to raise capital, but a way to start raising capital or start your own business going into landscaping or if you're just looking for something to start your own business in. Um, it's something where you don't need, doesn't require a lot of skill. Um, you know, it's easy to learn and it doesn't, doesn't, there's not a lot of overhead. Jumping into the numbers here, the, what I charged <clears throat> for this job was $1,383.25. The customer just rounded it up and paid me $1,400. But my expenses I had um, to rent the scaffolding, I mentioned this before, I rented it for a month and that other hedge trimming job that I did, <clears throat> I was able to do in this month time period. And I believe there was like one other job that I used the scaffolding for, maybe two. I can't remember, but I know I mentioned this before, batching. I could have rented it for the daily price, which is like 20 or $30, but renting it for the month at $71. I had like four jobs that I used the scaffolding for and I charged each of the customers the daily fee for the scaffolding, which would be $30. So just for the number's sake, we'll use the, um, the daily price, which is $30. Um, so 30 for that and then gas and diesel, we'll say another $30. I did have to drive to the dump and, um, used a considerable amount of uh, fuel for the hedge trimmer. And then the actual landfill fee was $8. <clears throat> so in total, my expenses were only $68. And you subtract that from the 1400, you get $1,332 in profit. And as you can see, this job took me <clears throat> two days. Um, I believe it was a total of 11 hours, roughly. My hourly rate ended up being $121 um, dollars an hour, which is awesome. When I first started doing this stuff, I really was pricing myself pretty low. Um, I mean, $50 I'm always happy to make, but when you actually see what's out there and people that are trimming hedges, like there's not a lot of people that want to trim hedges and it really is a lot of hard work. I kind of almost downplayed that or when I first started I guess I just even $20 an hour for me it was like a lot compared to what I was making um, so I just figured 50 was a good place to be which it is but um, with the amount of people that actually are willing to do this work and with how 
hard of work it is and I've realized it's something that I can't do forever so there is um, I can definitely price it up higher so this is $120 an hour is I'm starting to be where I want to be I, sh I think for trimming hedges especially when I'm up on scaffolding um, it is dangerous I should be in that $100 range if I'm gonna be you know putting myself at risk and my just working my body the way I am this is why I highly recommend hedge trimming I mean the things that you need for that job um, just to go into that if you were to just start this completely one of your biggest things is obviously your hedge trimmer which I mentioned in the other video I think is gonna be like three hundred dollars with so if you get like a you can actually just get like a weed whacker I buy mine from steel and then you get the hedge trimming attachment which is like I think seventy five dollars maybe more maybe a hundred you need a truck obviously but you actually the, the thing with hedge trimming is you really actually don't need a truck um, if you already have a car you can just put a hitch on it and then get like a little utility trailer which is gonna be like a couple thousand maybe you probably could even get one cheaper if you really look um, and that's all you need to get rid of the clippings the clippings don't weigh a lot you don't really need a truck to tow away the clippings so I mean considering if you already have a car you know you need to get a, a weed whacker with the head trimming attachment like I said that's four hundred dollars with a gas can and then a rake and a tarp you know you're looking at five hundred dollars and then the trailer is going to be a couple thousand. So, I mean, I don't know, $2,500 you're looking at for a startup cost. And this job alone was, I made $1,300 um, in profit. So, and this took me two days. So, I mean, this is something where you're looking at making your money back in one week. And, you know, that's, I mean, that's crazy. So, <clears throat> this is why I always recommend hedge trimming very, very highly. To make your money back on a start, you know, starting up a business and to make your money back in the same week is just, like, unheard of, um, at least for me. I, you know, in my previous video, um, I go into the startup cost of having a garbage business, which I'm, you know, debating about doing, and I'm looking at, like, an $80,000 startup cost. I won't make that in, <laughs> I mean, not even a week, hopefully. If I can make that back in a year, I'd be happy. Like I said, this is just an awesome way to make money it is very very hard work <clears throat> but if you're healthy or young or just able to do the work I think it's very much worth it um, <clears throat> so yeah thank you guys comment below in the uh, comment section what you think you know maybe you think was I charging too much do you think I'm charging the right amount now could I still charge more are you doing the same work in a different area and what rates are you getting any suggestions for me, any questions, whatever it is, leave it down in the comments. Or if you just like the video, give it a like or don't, whatever. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in and following me along my journey. Really appreciate it, guys. See you next video.